Right now, a 15-year-old boy is dead. Police say chased by his killers and shot 10 times just blocks from a school. And Chris, we talk about the gun violence crisis almost every night here. But to have victims this young is upsetting. It is sad. Do police have any leads in this case here? Well, Shiva, I can tell you Philadelphia police detectives are scrambling to enhance some surveillance video that captured the shooting death of that 15-year-old boy. Meanwhile, those investigators say at least three people pulled a trigger. Philadelphia police believe three shooters chased down a 15-year-old boy and shot him 10 times just after noon on the 6100 block of Algon Street in the Oxford Village neighborhood. They say surveillance video captured the shooting. We know there were at least three different kinds of uh, ballistics on scene, so uh, it lends to believe that there's at least three people with firearms. Before the shooting, nearby Samuel Fells High School was put on lockdown after an unauthorized person got into the school. Police are investigating whether the two incidents may have been related. It's very disturbing, very disturbing, and it's, you know, not too far from the school. We don't know the motive at all. Police say the 15-year-old victim went to Kensington High School. His death marks the 17th Philadelphia public school student to be killed this school year. 78 have been shot. I'm saddened, uh, sickened and saddened. Pastor Carl Day with Culture Changing Christians Church is one organization trying to help, among other things, combat gun violence. He also has a 15-year-old son. We all need to be checking ourselves, looking ourselves in the mirror, because uh, lives are being lost. As police try to solve another teenage homicide, Pastor Day will continue his work in helping make sure those in his circle don't become another statistic. How can you help? And if you're watching this, ask yourself that. What more can you, to, can you do today to just help what's going on to really help these youth? Now, police say they are still talking with witnesses. They are still looking over that video, and they say until they get a good look at that video, they have no solid descriptions on those suspects. Chris O'Connell, Fox 29 News.